Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be getting ready together with makeup you guys can't stop thinking about, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here. I'm just a mom who loves makeup, and that's what we do. And if you're returning, hi, hello, welcome. I love and appreciate you, and let's get started. If you're interested in anything that I talk about, you know, anything that's on my face today, everything is always linked down in the description box. Some of those links are affiliated links, most of them if I can help it. And that just means that if you choose to shop through them, I do receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. And that always goes straight back into my channel. Thank you for your support. Okay, let's get back into it. Okay, so I asked you guys on my YouTube community tab and Instagram to let me know makeup that you can stop thinking about. And if I had it, we're going to use it today. Thank you so much to everybody who responded. This video would not be possible without you. All right. So first foundation that I got recommended was from my sister-in-law, Jade. She said she couldn't stop thinking about Lancome foundation. So we're going to use my Lancome foundation that I have. This is the Tint Idol Ultra Wear Caring Glow in the shade 120N. And um, I definitely don't use this foundation enough. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's a good one. It just isn't super, like, it doesn't stand out in my collection very much. Um, I have such a large collection I think, I mean, this one just kind of gets pushed, like, out of my brain. I don't know. I, that's what I would say. <laughs> it gets pushed out of my brain, and it's just not on the top of my list. Um, I don't even know if it would make it to top 10. Maybe? Maybe. It's, like, towards the front of my drawer, so it might make it to top 10. So... We are going to use this today. I haven't used it in so long, <laughs> but I am um, making a very, very strong effort to use more makeup in my collection. I'm actually working on lots of ranking videos, and I want to um, rank a lot of my top tens in my collection for you guys and try to keep up with more of that. But I have lots of new makeup, especially from the Sephora sale that I'm working on. Um, well, not working on yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting. My package should be here um, the day that you're watching this. So I will get my haul up and then I am going to do two separate videos. I'm going to do a haul because I really want to go through and open everything with you guys because that's like, that's one of my favorite parts, getting a package and then opening it up. And I just, I haven't recorded myself doing it yet. And I, I really want to, I love, I love that moment it's just such a great moment <laughs> so we're gonna do that and then i will do a trying new makeup and put as much of it on my face as i can actually i think i might be able to get all of it so i will do that for you guys and yeah that's the plan for the next few videos see oh this foundation looks really good it looks really good wow it does have a scent it's definitely scented it's not super overwhelming though i think that girl on takes the cake on scented foundations for sure holy cow so far anyways <laughs> but yeah i'm just using that lisa eldridge technique that i watched her um talk about where i took a clean brush and kind of just you know brushed away that excess product it really really is a game changer and I can't believe it just took Lisa Eldred saying it for me to be like ding 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 oh my gosh <laughs> why don't I do that I do that with my eyeshadow but yeah okay this is a great foundation I am glad that I got to pull it out and use it okay next my recommendation for concealer so this is Dominique Bright recommended the Natasha Denona Concealer. And, you know, this is definitely in my top 10. It makes sense to me why you can't stop thinking about this. Um, oops, I touched my nose. Um, <laughs> but uh, I absolutely love this concealer. It is super duper full coverage. 
Um, so I really love it for that. Like when I need a full coverage moment, maybe with a little bit less coverage um, foundation almost. So I absolutely love it for that. It is not the most hydrating. So for that reason, it doesn't make it up um, to like number one. But it is definitely in my top 10. It is an absolutely gorgeous, high coverage formula. And it, I mean, it blends seamlessly into the skin. It just isn't the most um, flattering on my dry under eyes. But I mean, it does a great job. It does a really great job with spot concealing. That's definitely where it shines for me anyways. But so good. Such a good formula. Such a good product. I love it. I love, love, love that Natasha Nona concealer. And the color corrector, top notch. Probably my favorite color corrector in my collection. Where's my concealer blush? There it is. Um, <laughs> so, let's see. Um, if you've noticed, I really, really try not to cut these videos a ton. I really... Um, I do cut out a couple of things, you know, when my kids interrupt or something, but I really try to keep this uh, um, pretty raw, actually. It's not totally uncut, but I really want to feel like I'm just getting ready with you guys. And that means that life is crazy sometimes, and that's how it goes. So keep most of it in the video. All right, that concealer is so good. Good recommendation. I understand why you can't stop thinking about it. All right, for so I got to, recommended two bronzers, and we're gonna use both of them today. So this is Emmett Emmett Beauty Talk. She's the one who has the um, Instagram with all of the new releases, and I unfortunately don't know her real name, but. Um, Emmett Beauty Talk. I'll make sure to link her Instagram down in the description box. Um, she recommended, or can't stop thinking about, the RMS Bronzer. And I have mine in the shade Beach Walk Betty and Man Me Too. Holy cow, I cannot stop thinking about this, baby. This is so good. This is this. I have been really testing out my bronzers to do a bronzer ranking. And this, man, this is so good. So we're going to try to use this as more of like a... Um, very specific contour and then my beautiful friend on youtube miri i will make sure to link her youtube channel down below she said she can't stop thinking about the new ysl bronzer and i have mine in the shade 90 where is it where's the shade name um oh one maybe it's oh one i thought it wasn't Maybe, no, that's, I'm thinking of something else. In the shade 01. <laughs> and this is a very light toned, super light bronzer. So we're going to go in with the RMS first and then the YSL and see how it goes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for putting the makeup that you can't stop thinking about. I um, will definitely try to kind of keep up with this. I just, um, love i love this style of video it's really helping me get a lot of uh use out of my collection so definitely have been loving this series of videos um my dad's uh anniversary of his passing um is wednesday this wednesday, wednesday this year it's the um april 24th so, um, I can't stop thinking about it. And if you, uh, have lost anybody, you know that that first, that first year is, um, I've heard it called the year of firsts because it's, it's, it is, it's the year of firsts very specifically. And, uh, oh, the closer we get to it, I just can't stop thinking about it. Ah, uh, so I'm really going to try to, um, and it's funny because you like, <laughs> you want to keep yourself busy, but you also f like almost feel bad for keeping yourself busy because, um, because grief is a weird thing. <laughs> and, uh, so I'm going to try to keep myself busy with 
lots of videos and um, my kids and my family and really try to focus on the the good and the good things that I miss about my father. Oh my gosh, maybe I could watch uh, Lord of the Rings. That was like, that was mine and my dad's thing that we had, Lord of the Rings. And um, we would quote the movie to each other a lot. And uh, so maybe I could watch that with my kids come this, uh, this death day, I like to call it. <laughs> so browser done really good stay tuned for that browser ranking video i can't wait to tell you guys where those things just like rank in my brain next oh so i had two blush recommendations trish from instagram love her she's so great she comments on lots of my videos she recommended the give liquid blush um recommended can she can't stop thinking about the give liquid blush and i have not tried anything from give yet but i know that she absolutely loves the brand so i didn't pick up that blush um she's gonna have to let me know how it works for her and my beautiful friend miri recommended um that she can't stop thinking about the Guerlain blushes so i picked up my terracotta blush in the shade 01 light pink and here she is in all her glory. She said she can't stop thinking about these. And um, honestly, this is the first time I'm using it because I just picked it up because she said she couldn't um, she couldn't stop thinking about it. And um, I just I 100% trust Miri's recommendations. And I mean, she recommended to me like the best bronzer I've ever tried of all time. So. So here we are. If she can't stop thinking about it, then I probably can't stop thinking about it either. <laughs> um, this, this is gorgeous. It is Guerlain scented. Man, that smell isn't, I mean, it's not bad by any means. It's a very pleasant, perfumey smell, but it is so strong. Guerlain makes their stuff smell very, very strong. Even, even this powder. And this is my first girl on powder, except for the meteorites. And they have a, a little bit of a different scent, honestly. But wow. Wow. This blush is gorgeous. Very seamless. I love the color. Yes. And the packaging is so pretty. So you're seeing it now in live time. <laughs> my first impression of this blush is very, very good wonderful makes sense why she can't stop thinking about it trish let me know about those give liquid blushes next highlighter so my beautiful sister-in-law jade she says that she can't stop thinking about her merit highlighter so we're gonna use the shade kava today and um you know i <laughs> i always recommend to everyone in my life um the merit merit in general it's a very easy super um natural brand like and i mean like most people in this um community i'm not surrounded by um people who love makeup like i do as much so they don't wear as much makeup and um it's surprising to me i mean it makes sense uh, there's actually kind of a learning curve <laughs> with makeup. So um, Merit has products that I know I can recommend that really don't take much of a learning curve. So um, I, she can't stop thinking about this Merit highlighter because I recommended Merit to her and she absolutely loves her Merit stuff. So with that... Miri, again, she rec she said she can't stop it about she, Mar Miri, as a YouTube content beauty creator, cannot stop thinking about lots of products. And I just love that. Me too. Me too, Mary. Miri, me too. <laughs> so she also said she can't stop thinking about her Huda, Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch uh, Press Powder. I got mine in the shade Cupcake. And I picked this up because Miri herself said she absolutely loved it and i haven't tried the um the loose powder version of this um 
And honestly, which is okay, I think, because people said if they love the loose powder, they weren't a huge fan of the press powder. And I am a huge fan of the press powder. So we are going to use this today because beautiful Miri cannot stop thinking about it. And yeah, for good reason. It's really, really nice. It's so pretty. I love the little spongy it comes with. It really makes my under eyes look um, very smooth and super beautiful. Love it. Thank you, Miri. Next is brows. And I didn't get any brow recommendations or stuff that people couldn't stop thinking about for their brows because brows are really not the most exciting thing, which makes sense. You know, I, um, so I went ahead and picked out the eyebrow pencil and, <laughs> um, gel that I can't stop thinking about. And that is the uh, Victoria Beckham Baby Blade. I really love this. I love how smooth it is. I love how fast it is. I can't stop thinking about it because I wonder if it's because I picked up a different color. Maybe it's so I got the shade dark brown and I usually go with like more of a brunette, um, neutral, uh, not too warm color. But this, this looks really nice in my brows and I really like it. So I can't stop thinking about it and I, I love it. I love it. Victoria Beckham is not one of my favorite brands, but I've been loving that eyebrow pencil. And then of course, the Merit Brow 1980. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's my favorite brow gel. I love it so much. It's, I love the color brown. I don't really like clear brow gels and yeah okay brows are done that is that oh um what was the other thing yes okay so we are just gonna prime our eyes with a little bit of concealer cuz I am a rebel <laughs> um and yeah I also think I'm really funny so let's prime these bad dogs and then we're going to use the eyeshadow palette that my beautiful sister-in-law says she can't stop thinking about, which is so funny to me because um, she can't stop thinking about it because it's in my collection. She doesn't own it, <laughs> but she sees all of my stuff that I get and she can't stop thinking about it. So. If that says anything to you, that's how good this palette is. This is the Lisa Eldridge Sorcery Palette. It's so, so good. It's so good. I almost feel like I should set that concealer down before going in with this because it feels a little wet and tacky on my eyelids. Let's go. Let's go in with a little bit more of that Huda Beauty powder. Set those bad dogs. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then we'll go in with some eyeshadow. That feels a little better. Okay. <gasps> yes, I love this. I love this so, so much. And I think it's super awesome that she picked this one. I don't know what colors to use. Mm, she likes gold. My sister-in-law, she likes gold and she likes green. So, I mean, yes. Okay, so we're going to go into that matte green first. I mean, obviously, it's a pretty obvious choice and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend dang i forgot how pigmented these are forgot how pigmented that is it's so pigmented it's very very it went a lot farther than i thought it was gonna it's very crazy intense mm, hold please okay i'm back um yeah sometimes that happens with makeup we just do something we're not a huge fan of, and then we start over. I'm not a makeup artist. I've never claimed to be, so I didn't like where that was going, and we are going to try something different. So Lisa Eldridge <laughs> Sorcery Palette, this is what we're going to try. So I want to go in first with this gold color right here on my finger. Ooh, it's like a gold green. It's so pretty. So we're going to put that all over the lid, and you know, this is just... I tried this a um, um, couple days ago with my eyeshadow, and it's just so simple. Simple and easy 
and not, I mean, not too intense, not too intense, pretty intense still, but not too um, trying. Anybody could do this. So we're going to put that all over the lid. Da, 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 da. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, Lisa Eldridge formulas is, it's so good. So super good. Going in with my Refer01, which is the brush that I used earlier. We're going to go in with a, just a little bit of that green, which is extremely pigmented, but so, so pretty. Keeping that a little bit more concentrated. I just don't want as blown out as it was. Um, I hope that you guys can see. I don't want to try something new with this little mirror so you guys can see all of what's happening. And both eyes, just in the crease, really keeping that super concentrated in that crease, that green. Then I'm going to go in with a clean Refer 15 and just blend. Blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. Blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. When in doubt, blend. Blending is your friend. <laughs> that rhyme was free. <laughs> Um, I can hear my little baby and I'm going to have to go help her out. Okay, so we are going to use my Refer 21 Best Packing Brush. And we're going to use it in that dark green right there. The super pretty sparkly dark green. And we're going to just put that um kind of on the outer corner, but on top of that shimmer. Just give it a little bit more dimension, this eyeshadow look. So pretty oh my gosh see and it's not like it's not super super intense we definitely want that gold to be the star of the show so nice and of course of course of course of course we're gonna use the refer one again no extra product on it just blend that green in and make sure that there's no harsh lines it might have a little bit left over um that green matte shadow for sure but everything's blended. So you got the dark green, the gold, beautiful. Next, we're going to use a very tiny, 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 hmm. <coughs> um, let's use the refer three, and I'm going to use the matte green, whoop, <laughs> and um, put it on the lower lash line. Just a little bit of that matte color sticking out st sticking staying towards the outer edge whoop, whoop. and then i'm gonna use a little bit of the that same refer 01 i love my refer 01 man and just blend 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 everything together and no harsh lines kind of a blow Blown out lower lash line. Definitely hitting the greens in this palette. I love this palette. It's so pretty. Green, green, green. And then when everything's blended out, we are going to use a tiny brush. This is my Refer Mini 2. Love my 2. This is a mini of it. We're going to use this shimmery, um, silvery color oop, in the middle right here. <laughs> and um, go in the inner corner because I love an inner corner highlight. And I usually bring my inner corner highlights down to my lower lash line, just like the little, the, the front of my lower lash line. I don't know not what the correct terminology is, but I'm going into that quite a few times because it's not picking up the best on this brush. So here we go. Here we go. Just kind of a shimmery inner corner, really tie everything together. Maybe a little bit of shimmer on the brow bone. So pretty. Yeah, this is not the most intense shimmery shadow. It's got a lot of pigment to it. It's so nice. Love, 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 love. I understand why she can't stop thinking about this palette. It's so, so good. You know what? We're going to use one thing that no one recommended or uh, said they couldn't stop thinking about because nobody said an eyeliner, but that's fine. That's fine. Eyeliners are not the most sticky outy in your brain, unless you're me and it's Lisa Eldridge because <laughs> this is Lisa Eldridge Night Forest. It's the green one 
And I mean, come on, this is going to go perfect with this eyeshadow look. You know, I didn't wake up this morning thinking that today was a green eyeshadow day, but it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are the best eyeliners of all time. I love them. I love them so much. So much. They're so good. They're so good. Okay. Eyeliner done. Eyeshadow done. Now we are going to use... So my beautiful friend Mercedes here on YouTube, um, she said mascaras, which is awesome. I mean, she can't stop thinking about mascaras. There's a lot of really good mascaras. We, she didn't give me a specific mascara, so we are going to go ahead and use the eyeshadow, the mascara that I think a lot of people can't stop thinking about. My best guess for um, mascaras that everybody's thinking about because I hear everybody talk about this mascara all the time. This is the Tower 28 um, Make Waves Mascara in Jet. This is the black one. This mascara is so popular, they came out with a brown one. And I, you know, I understand. I understand why people can't stop thinking about this. This is on people's top um, number one mascaras. This is their one of their top choices. I mean, and for good reason. This is a really good, 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 good all over mascara. I love pairing it with my uh, Benefit Fan Fest mascara. Yes, they look so good together. I love this wand. It's so perfect. It's really skinny and it is a rubber wand, which is my favorite. Um, you know, this reminds me a lot, the wand does, of my Kitten Lash from Lisa Eldridge. I love that mascara too. They're so, so good. Top. Toppity top, tippity top favorite mascaras. Just love this. I love this mascara. And, you know, maybe Mercedes can't stop thinking about it. She'll let me know <laughs> in the comments. She always does. She comments on all of my videos. And seriously, guys, I see you. I see you. I know your names. I think about you all the time. I think that it is so incredible that you guys are here watching me. <laughs> I just love you guys. Okay. Next, we are going to, oh, so I think that's done for the eyes. Lips time. Mary, my beautiful friend, said she couldn't stop thinking about Natasha Denona lip liners, which I know to be true because I watch her videos and she loves her Natasha Denona lip liners. We're going to use this one that I can't stop thinking about because it's like getting tiny. <laughs> this is the, I need a new lip crayon in the shade Natasha. This is the one that she came out with, uh, with her dream collection. I think, um, oops, ah, so hard to talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> um, but I love this color. This is like a cool toned lip lovers dream. Pinky brown. It's just going to be so nice. And it is going to get covered up by the lipstick we're going to use, but, um, I mean, you'll be able to see it by itself. I wear this a lot by itself with like a lip gloss on top because it's so, so beautiful. I love this color. The Natasha Denona My Dream Lipstick, or I Need a Nude, the one with the pink with the black splatters on it. Um, Amazing. One of my top favorites. Okay, there we go. That's on. <laughs> um. And then Jade, my sister in love, she um, said she can't stop thinking about the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks because she comes in and sees my collection. And I mentioned she loves the color gold. And this, I mean, these bullets are gold. They're beautiful. And we're going to use the sorcery lipstick today, Velvet Sorcery, because we use sorcery on the eyes. And I love being um, like that. I'm that girl. So <laughs> we're going to use a little bit. Of Velvet Sorcery. Mm. With that lip liner. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. That is such a good combination. I love the color of this. It's so good. It's so good. So good. 
Sorry for screaming at you guys there for a second. But seriously, look at this. Mm, I did not expect it to look so good. So stinking good. Wow. Okay. So that is the makeup today. I think it looks so good. I love it. I love this. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Again, thank you so much to everybody who's told me the makeup they can't stop thinking about. I really hope to do this a few more times. You know, I really love the series I've made. And I just think that I want to know what makeup you guys can't stop thinking about. Because it's not all about me. You know, you guys are here too. <laughs> and if you weren't here, I wouldn't be here. So. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, thank you for hanging out for these little bit longer videos, you know, with the talking and the chatting and um, putting on the makeup, the whole process. It does take me a minute sometimes. So thank you guys for hanging out. And yeah, um, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. And get ready with it together. My eye so much. My eye. Oh. I used to be so good at planning things. Since I met you, I threw my plans away. Coffee at night and 10 a.m. champagne. We can spend a week in London or LA. Yeah, the sun.